Is concrete leveling the right solution for my uneven concrete? That's likely the question that you are asking yourself if you're dealing with uneven concrete that is dangerous and eyesore, and at this point, if it's left to settle, it'll only get worse over time. The answer, though, requires a little more context about concrete leveling and your specific needs. So to help you face the unknown and unfamiliar path of solving concrete issues, we've put together the top eight questions we get asked about our concrete leveling service, including how long it lasts, can you do it yourself, and of course, how much it costs, all in this one video. Hey, I'm Josh with A1 Concrete Level. Embarking on a journey towards beautiful level concrete can provide more trip hazards and be almost as unpredictable as your existing sunken concrete when you go it alone. At A1, we get how frustrating that can be. And we've spent the last 30 years guiding customers like yourself to positive results on what we like to call the concrete repair journey. That journey has taught us a lot, so much more than we can cover in just eight questions. So I do highly recommend doing more research at our learning center, Concrete Academy, after you watch this video. But first, let's get to the source of all your concrete troubles, sunken concrete. Why does concrete settle? Understanding what's causing your concrete issue is crucial in deciding your next steps, regardless of the service you end up choosing. In most cases, the simple answer is that the soil or ground underneath your concrete has eroded away. The main causes of this being burrowing pests, poor soil compaction, and natural settling. But the main culprit here is water. That's right, water is washing your soil away. And you can typically spot this fairly quickly on your own by looking for downspouts that are pointed directly at the slab, gutters that are overflowing onto the concrete, or from those open cracks and expansion joints that are giving water a direct path to that soil right beneath it. So addressing these causes is a necessary first step to not only prolonging the lifespan of your currently level concrete, but also the slabs that we hope to lift back into place. So keep those factors in mind throughout the rest of this video, and you'll really see how much of a domino effect they can have. How do I fix sinking concrete? Well, one of the cheapest and fastest ways to achieve level concrete surfaces is grinding them down flush with the joining panels. While this may fix your issue now, it often leaves a splotchy, discolored surface and opens up the absorbent pores of the concrete. And because of this, concrete grinding may actually take away some of our ability to level it properly in the future. So by choosing this option now, you should understand that replacement will likely be your only choice down the road. Another way is by adding additional concrete, self-leveling concrete, or concrete patch kits on top of the existing concrete to fill smaller trip hazards. This is a good temporary solution, but it has a very high likelihood of chipping or cracking off as the original concrete expands and contracts during those freeze-thaw cycles. Now, your first thought was likely to just replace your concrete, but what if I told you that while tearing out the old concrete and replacing it with new does leave you with that properly maintained and protected concrete, for a higher cost, it doesn't actually fix that concrete settling problem. In conjunction with first identifying and addressing the cause of your sunken concrete, our preferred and cost-effective method to fixing sunken concrete really rises above the rest, and it's called concrete leveling. So what is concrete leveling and how does it work? Well, concrete leveling is the process of raising existing sunken concrete by strategically drilling holes, pumping material that lifts the concrete from beneath, creating a strong, stable base, then patching the holes to match the original surface as best as possible. Even then, the overall surface color and texture of your concrete will be exactly what it was prior to receiving the service. And I think this is a great time to point out a common misconception about this process. Concrete leveling does not involve tearing out or replacing existing concrete by pouring new concrete. In fact, unlike replacing your concrete, concrete leveling often starts and finishes in the same day. And depending on the material that's used, which I'll cover next, there is little to no wait time for foot traffic and about 24 hours for vehicles. So what type of concrete leveling materials exist? There are three primary materials used in professional concrete leveling services. Stone slurry grout, polyurethane foam, and mud jacking. Now, mud jacking isn't a service we provide through A1, but we do have plenty of articles that cover it in more detail over on Concrete Academy. But right now, here are the key differences between the other two materials. Stone slurry grout is environmentally friendly and is made from a mixture of pulverized limestone and water, and sometimes Portland cement. This material allows for a more controlled, low-pressure approach for leveling precision, 
And it also gives our experts the ability to adjust the thickness of the material on the spot to adapt to most lifting applications and some of the more complex repairs like pools, porches, and AC pads. Stone Slurry Grout also has the highest strength of any of the materials in addition to its ability to fill entire voids, which really comes in handy for situations where strength is important, like weight-bearing posts and areas with heavy vehicle traffic. This material requires drill holes to be about one inch in diameter or about the size of a quarter. Polyurethane foam, often referred to as polyfoam or polyjacking, typically uses a two-part liquid foam that undergoes a chemical reaction when combined under the concrete surface where it then expands and puts pressure on the slab, raising it back into a level position. Although it doesn't always fill the entirety of the void, foam typically cures within one hour, allowing you to use it like normal after the repair is complete. Foam commonly requires drill holes that are about 5 eighths of an inch in diameter or about the size of a dime, and the availability of portable units allows for better access to otherwise inaccessible areas. How much does concrete leveling cost? First of all, hello and welcome to everyone who jumped straight to this section of the video. I don't blame you, but I do highly recommend that you go back and listen to that first handful of answers as they will give you a much better understanding of why concrete leveling costs what it does. Now, that being said, the average cost of concrete leveling is, drumroll please, between $1,100 and $1,500. That price range is a great starting point, but really your specific cost is gonna vary based on these five factors that we break down in our ultimate guide to concrete leveling costs. I do highly recommend that you check that out before requesting an estimate, but ultimately having one of our experts come out and give you a free on-site estimate is the best way to get the most accurate cost for your project. All right, can I do this myself? Well, of course you can, however, Many DIY attempts can actually damage the concrete, and that makes it way more difficult to level professionally later and potentially leads to the need for total concrete replacement. Again, we're not saying that you can't do it yourself. We just recommend that you choose a professional to provide your concrete leveling service. How long does concrete leveling last? At this point in the video, you should know just how important it is to address all the factors that are causing your concrete to sink before deciding on any solution to your issue, specifically replacement or repair. So assuming you fix those factors, concrete leveling can last 10 to 20 plus years or the lifetime of the concrete itself. Whoa. Keep in mind that concrete can still settle naturally or from unknown or unseen factors, even when you've taken all the necessary steps to prolong your concrete's life. It's not a perfect solution, but it is a great one. How can I make my leveling repair last longer? Once you've received the concrete leveling service, arguably the most important aspect begins, and that is maintenance. At A1, we offer caulking services for gaps, cracks, and joints to prevent water from reaching the soil beneath that we can do after the lift, but the more routine aspects fall to you. Redirect your downspouts away from the concrete, fix and clean those leaky or overflowing gutters, add soil and landscaping around the edges of concrete to redirect water away, and of course, you gotta remove those pests that may be burrowing under your concrete. Oh, me? Oh. Some of those aspects are ones that you can do yourself, while others may require additional services outside of what we provide at A1 Concrete Leveling. So let's go back to that question. Is concrete leveling the right solution for my uneven concrete? Hopefully this video answers that question or at least makes the path from here a little more clear. Because to the left, concrete leveling isn't what you need at this time but you do know you have other options to pursue. And to the right, concrete leveling is exactly what you need, and you know what steps to take next for longer lasting level concrete. Regardless of which direction you head, I highly recommend continuing your concrete repair journey at Concrete Academy, followed up by requesting a free on-site estimate from our experts today. Thanks for watching and congrats on taking the next step to loving your concrete again.